In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Telestar internet radio with built-in DAB and FM. Now this, is, first of all, I'm going to state is a super product, both in build quality, ease of use. We've been looking for a niche product to fill into this space for some period of time, and this one here ticks all the boxes, both in terms of who it's from. It's from Telestar, they're a German company, super to deal with. Uh, in terms of the what it comes with, and um, the fact that it comes with great, um, it comes with two uh, 10 watt speakers here, that it has 10,000 uh, radio stations uh, pre-tuned on it, that you can set it up to run by Ireland, uh, or by country code, by your favourite list, all the rest of it, and the ease in which you can flick through the different um, uh, menus on it, I think just really makes it a winning product. We're shipping it free directly here from freetv.ie. So what I've got to do now is give an overview of exactly what we get in it, we'll have a look at all the connections on it and we'll give a demonstration of it in use. We have a separate video where we're going to cover the actual setup of it from the start and setting it up on your network, but it's all pretty straightforward. So we have uh, the outer box that comes in here with a user manual which is in a range of languages including English. We have a 12 volt uh, 3 amp power unit here. We have a lead here and it is uh, 3.5 over to a phono, basically for adding on uh, external speakers in the main ice boom zoom. And here what we have is um, a remote control with a set of treble A batteries. And you can see the unit itself. It's quite uh, weighty because it's quite a um, sturdily build. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate this unit around. I'm going to come to the front of the desk and I'm just going to talk about the main features here. So I'll just move this out of the way. So the first thing uh, to note on this is that um, uh, we have a, a power on off switch here. So it's a hard switch. So we have a... a um, a switch on the front here for just knocking it on and off into the standby mode, but this is actually physically hard out. And if we want to connect the power unit here, you just connect it directly like that. We have a USB port on it, which is handy, so we can use the media center on it, so we can lo load um, you know, various uh, things and just play it directly from the media center on it. We have a LAN connection here as well, so we have the option of using Wi-Fi, or we can hardwire it directly in, click, and we have it, we have it networked. Or we have auxiliary in, line out, and we have a headphone connection here as well. And for the traditionalist among us, we have an aerial here, and we can come along and we, we can use, let's say, the FM, for instance. So what I'll do is I'm just going to move this unit out of the way. And what we have here is a unit that we've already set up onto, um, I think we actually set this up, we did actually on our LAN, our LAN network here. So um, the first thing to note here in the front is the size of the speakers. So we have two 10 watt speakers here. And I think we just have it set up on one of our local stations here. I'll just turn the volume up here. Thanks to Vodafone. Okay, so that's only halfway up on the thing. But so actually there's a great bang out of it here. So it's really like a traditional radio in terms of how we can use it there. Obviously you have a thing. So I've just come along and set it up here. So in the setup steps, just to give a quick overview, we just set it up for um, what region we're in and things like that. So it knows, we'll say for the purpose of this video, we're based here in Ireland. So what I can do here is I can just come along here and I can just press the menu button here. So you'll see the options we have are internet radio. We can have the media center. We can have FM radio, DAB radio, uh, the information here, uh, auxiliary, uh, configuration, local radio station. So this is sort of interesting here. I'll just select a local radio station here. It knows from the setup that I'm here in Ireland. And we can come down here and we can go Ireland. We can go top 40, Ireland all, um, all the different things. Ireland, Christian, classical, country, all the rest of it here. So if we went for Ireland all here and just go in here, we'll see here that all of the local and national radio stations from Ireland are listed on it, even down to very minor ones. I don't think Bird Hill uh, will be a very major radio station, but still is listed on it. And it's just really handy in terms of, rather than going off and searching, it just knows the region thing, bang. And you can grab it then, push it onto your favorites list on the thing. If we just go back out to the main menu again, so we're on local radio station here. If I just go the opposite direction here, over to internet radio, I can just go in here. And if I went into my history here, for instance, I'd come along and I can set it up here. And we can set up channels to go on to our local most uh, things here. And if we come along then, we'll say, and um, you know, if you're making a menu choice, something like that, it doesn't leave it open forever. After nine seconds, it just, just close down and just drops back into the previous one. So really, I'm impressed with it here in terms of like the speakers on it, the sound quality and all of that has been far superior to anything we've seen previously. Um, so between, we'll say, the, the, the brand name that comes out, the extended warranty period on it, the finish on it, um, I, I would say compared, would say, to other premium radio, uh, 
uh, that are out there. This is far superior and the price point that's coming in at. So you can just look through this in the setup videos and you'll see how incredibly good it is. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Telestar internet radio with both DAB and FM built in, available on freetv.ie.